Oh man, something got in here. And they chewed. Chewed off. Bits. <sighs> Look at that. All over. You can get the little flowers. So whatever it was, it stood in here and chomped. Yep. Look at this deer pointing right in my direction. Stinker. Oh, that makes me so sad. I even left two sacrificial ones that I accidentally clipped off yesterday. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, girls. Hi, Ebony. Did you get some flowers this morning, Pepper? You girls need to quit flicking your food bowls. Ooh, Pepper's out of green. Good morning, chickies. What you doing, Janet? How big you guys are. Good morning, Gracie. So, why you got mean face? Oh, you got a sappy eye. Oh, honey. Why you got a sappy eye? And you're growling at me. And I was going to give you a hard time about not eating your grain. Why aren't you eating your grain? Is it because you don't feel good? Okay, guys, pretty excited. We got uh, our skid loader for a couple of days. We actually had them put it all back together. We're waiting on a specific part, and I'm going to use it um, to get these things done that I need to get done, and then we'll take it back to the shop because, you know, we they're still waiting on a part. So pretty excited that we got this one, which I'm way more comfortable using. Um, I just got to pull it off the deck, drive it up the hill, and get started on those things today. So, yay. Grace, you going to let me come up to you? No? I really don't want to push her and make her walk. I mean, I really don't want to chase her because that can cause way even way more problems. So right now she's breathing and she is coughing things up. So I'm just going to keep my eye on her throughout the day and see how she goes.
Okay, guys, we're having a thing with Gracie. Um, I made the mistake of giving her alfalfa pellets. Um, she inhaled them. She has now what is called choke, where it gets stuck and swells in her throat. And she's having a really hard time this morning. Um, she also has some gunk in her eye. I called another friend of mine who has llamas and alpacas. She said because of the air quality, hers are also doing that. Um, yeah, so learn from my lesson. Don't give alfalfa pellets. It says give a local grass hay pellet or a Timothy because it doesn't swell where the alfalfa pellets will swell when they drink water. And that is apparently what has happened to her. So she's kind of been throwing up and trying to work that out. Um, I've emptied out the water barrel so she can't have any water because that's what's recommended. I did put a call into the vet. Um, if I can get a hold of her, I can do some massage. But she's not really wanting me to get a hold of her and I'm trying to not chase her. Um, or anything like that. So I think she's done with me standing right here. I'm really upset that this happened. I have given um, alfalfa in the past and never had this problem. Um, I did give them more this particular time than normal. I mixed the sweet grain. I was moving them off of the sweet grain and onto the llama feed. Um, and I added too much of the alfalfa. So... She is throwing up. She is passing it, so that is good. We'll keep updates on her all day today. I think it might be coming out now. So she just threw up a huge amount. And she finally sounds like she's really breathing, pushing more air through. That's what they said you were looking for. See if she'll let me get up closer to her. She's, you know, this is. Oh, sorry guys, it's all over the place. This is one of the reasons that I like to really handle my animals a lot. Gracie and Allegra spent the first five years of their life on a hundred acre farm. No, she doesn't. She's not gonna let me come up to her. Gracie, Gracie, but it did look like she threw up a huge amount. Looks like mostly water. She's still got her mouth open super wide. Justin, quiet. As scary as that sounds, that's exactly what she needs to be doing to get that out of her throat. So because they were raised on this 100 acres and not really handled at all, they're just anti-handling. Um, their instinct is not to come to you and get help. It's to run away from you. So that makes it really hard. These girls are 12, 13 years old. I had them for a year. I made them be handled. So that's basically the handling they've gotten. And then they went for almost six years to another lady who 